So this next shooting and cutting and feeding drill that I want to show you guys and that you'll see on the video is our two cage cut, pick, and flash. Again, adding a second gold cage has really helped us add some variety to our shooting and feeding drills. The girls really enjoy it because we get a ton of touches, a ton of reps. So in this drill, you're going to have four lines. You'll see X1, X2, X3, and X4. There's a line at each of those areas, and balls are down here with both of the low lines. What we're working on in this drill is actually cutting into a defender and then going to set a pick. We're working on flashing off of that pick as well as an off-ball player using the pick. So what you're going to see here is X1 is going to start the drill, and these two little areas you'll see on the video, these are actually um, extra players from our team. Maybe they, they had an injury and they aren't able to practice in the moment. So they're kind of standing here as dummy defenders, as defenders that we can use to try to set a pick on. So this first player, X1, is going to cut hard into the eight first. So we always want our players to go in first to really occupy their defender. She's then going to come up and set a good-looking pick. When she sets that pick, X2 is going to use the pick. And what that means is we want her to actually drift down a little bit. So just shift down the field a little bit as her teammate is coming to set that pick to set her defender up. She's then going to go over the top of that pick, try to rub her shoulder against her teammate's shoulder, seal her defender. She's going to receive a feed from X4 on the move, get a good-looking shot off. Once this pick is set by X1, her job is not finished. We need to work on flashing off of that pick, never just standing. We still need to be a threat offensively. So once she sets that pick and this player cuts off and receives the feed from X4, now X1 is going to receive the feed from X3. Again, who's been keeping her feet moving, puts good feet in there so we can have a nice catch and finish in tight by the cage.